Hey, this is David B69. Welcome to today's video. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well, and hit the notification bell for future videos. Let's get on to the show. Here is my Nintendo 64 and Xbox 360 along with my computer. Here is the PS5, the Switch, and backwards compatible PS3. Here is my Saturn, my Genesis, my NES, Super NES, PS2, and Xbox. Here is my PS4, Xbox One, PS3, Switch, Gok. And here is my PS5 and PS4 games. And here is my Xbox One games on the top shelf on the left and all of my videos. Hey everybody, this is David B 69 and I hope everybody is having a wonderful day today. Um, I, I basically just wanted to show off, um, it's not the really right word that I want to use. I actually wanted this display, um, some changes that I made. Um, I made some changes to my house on, I just didn't, I didn't want to, I have like a PS5 and PS4 collection and my Xbox One stuff. All upstairs. Everything else, everything there is upstairs. Um, it's like before my wife uh, went on a trip, we had all the DVDs and Blu-rays. They were just sitting loose around the house. They were sitting around. They were just not in a good spot. There was no way to display them, use them. Um, and I could have bought like a thing and put it upstairs, but... There's no way to make that work with the current way things are structured with the with Christmas and other things during the year. Um, and the only place that it actually makes sense to have stuff is downstairs in the game room. Now, my problem was, is I have like little these little shelves and other things and stuff sitting in the game room. So I made some changes and I just I wanted to share with you and see see what you think of it so just uh feel free to comment below and like i said i'd really like to hear your impressions what changes what other things you think i do but first we have an unboxing um yes we do have an unboxing um this one is from Luki games and uh yeah these things just arrived today I'm like really excited about it. Now, some of the reasons I made this order is because I had some game um, on the system, but I couldn't get, I couldn't find other ones. Um, I was able to get like Midway Game Arcade Treasures Volume One, and I'm like. Man, there's three volumes. I couldn't find it, but Luki Game Luki Games had them in stock. So here it is. Here is Midway Arcade Treasures Two. And the cool part about this one is it has Mortal Kombat Two, Three, Gauntlet Two, Spy Hunter Two, Zybots, um, Narc, APB, Cyberball Twenty Seventy Two, Timber, Total Carnage. Pit Fighter, Wizard of War, um, Xenophobe, Primal Rage, Arch Rivals, Rampage World Tour, Cosmic Cruiser, Championship Sprint, Hard Driving, and Wacko. Now, these are the arcade versions, so they're, like, really, really good, and I'm, like, just so happy to actually have this because I've been wanting this for, like, the longest time, and now it is in my hands. And like I said... I also got number three, which I'm super stoked about. This one comes with San Francisco Rush, the Alcatraz edition, Hydro Thunder, Super Off-Road, Badlands, um, Race Driving, Stun Runner, San Francisco Rush 2049, and Off-Road Thunder. I mean, that is so cool. 
And it's like, I mean, it's like all these games in one little collection, which is like really cool. And then I was like, I like in television. I, I don't like it enough to actually own, own a, own a, own a like thing. But I used to go to a friend's house and I used to play in television all the time. This is in, in ColecoVision. Um, but it's like, it has like so many games um, and they optimized it for the analog st stick and for the PS2. Um, includes Armor Armor Battle, Astro Smash, B-17 Bomber, Backgammon, Baseball, Body Slam, Super Pro Wrestling, um, Bomb Squad, Bowling, Boxing. I mean, there's Checkers, Football. And it's like golf, hockey. There's like a lot of, there's just a lot of games. I'm not going to read through every single one of this one. Um, cause there's just a lot of games. Um, but I like the tennis. I like Utopia. Um, I like the sport games. And like I said, it's a, it's a fun thing. So they're the games that I got from Lukey Games. Then I made an order with Ret Retro Raven. Cause why not? Actually, it was, there was a reason for it. Um, I think it was because I couldn't find them at Lukey. Either that or the prices were better at Retro Raven. Pretty sure it was a stock issue, not a price issue. Come with a funky purple bag. I'm okay with a funky purple bag. And I got to say, they do a really good job of packing their stuff. I will never complain about how uh, they pack the games and ship them. I mean, I mean if only uh, DK Odies could learn how to pack like this, then they might not have had to send me a new case. Because that's what they had to do. They had a fractured case. Because they didn't know how to pack things correctly. They put it in a bubble mailer. Plus they put extra bubble wrap around. Plus they tape the bubble wrap and everything to the game. So it's not loose and falling apart. So yeah. First game from Lu from Retro Raven is the Bible game. Um, I've never had this. But I got to tell you since I had the NES and I got those two Bible games on there. Made me like for a hankering of a little bit newer gen. And is this is more of a TV game show. So it's like kind of like fun and answering questions and stuff. And it's like really cool. Um, yeah. It's like really cool. And it has music from the hottest Christian artists, including Toby Mac, Newsboys, Cutlass, Jeremy Camp, and more. That's actually kind of wild. Next up, we have Star Trek Shattered Universe. Um, I don't know much about this, but I mean, I like me some Star Trek. And I'm like, you know, I just want to sit down and like play some Star Trek. Last night, I finished uh, Crisis Core on the, P on the PS5. First time I actually beat that game. I never actually played it on the PSP. I think I had it, but I never really like got deep into it. Um, but I got to tell you that I really, really loved Crisis Core on the PS5, it, especially after beating uh, the first um, part of uh, Final Fantasy VII um, remake on the PS5. So definitely cool. The next game I got was Star Trek Encounters. Um, and again, I have no idea about this game. I've never owned any Star Trek games on the PS2. So I'm like really just intrigued and I'm excited to start playing it. And the last one is the one that I'm most excited about over all of the other games. And that is SNK Arcade Classic Volume 1. Of course, there was only one volume that ever came out. It has Art of Fighting, Baseball Stars 2, Burning Fight, Fatal Fury, King of the Monsters, Last Resort, Mag Magician Lord, Metal Slug, 
Retro Turf Masters Samurai Showdown Sen Sengo? And I don't know how to pronunciate that. Um, Shock Troopers, Super Sidekicks 3, King of Fighters 94, Top Hunter, and World Heroes. So, yeah, I'm like super excited about this. Um, does anybody have this? I've never, like I said, I've never played it. I never had it. Um, just kind of intrigued them, other people's thoughts. And now I'm going to like get up and show you my newly styled room. Now, I do got to say there are, is some mess still here. I have not finished cleaning up yet, but I have, I have basically set everything in place that I plan on having in place. Um, so yeah, the Nintendo 64 stuff is still here. Um, still have some stuff there. But um, and then this drawer for this cabinet. We have a lot of stuff for Wii, Wii U. Um, we have the Dreamcast system down there. And some additional, and some Vita games. And controls. Um, this is stuff that I really don't use as often. So I basically put them there. I have to get the Dreamcast out and I plan on hooking it up to a TV that I have right here. So I can just sit down and chill and play. Um, so basically, I have these two original cabinets, which you guys are all, all used to seeing. Um, so you can see like all of the games. You can even see the trash that's there for what I just opened. Now we got stuff that you just generally, generally don't see. And these are the rows of stuff that I've had for a long time, but I really don't use it. Um, generally, because for some reason, even though it's level, it's not working perfectly. So I'm still trying to figure it out perfectly. Like, it will hold the rarity Blu-ray here, but any other, like... Nintendo 64 or something I put on there, it generally doesn't hold. Now, as far as some other stuff, I put some put a cabinet here. And you can see I have PS1 and PS2 all right here. And uh, I got to tell you, it took a lot of work to, to get all this stuff from downstairs to upstairs. Um, and it was just, it was a really like a lot of fun. And then I have this whole area where I have the, uh, the driving force and a couple, a couple of statues. Got some other stuff. You see some Star Wars stuff. And then we come over here. I have some boxes out, but I don't have all of them out because it just was too much space. And I like want to have more space in here. And I have all of these games as well down here. Um, this was the Xbox, Xbox 360, PS3, um, Switch, and Dreamcast, and there are some new NES, Nintendo 64, and Super NES. It's all, like, right here. So... Trying to show it without showing it too much here. That's like really cool. 
And I have, uh, you have to apologize. I have to apologize for some, like some, like I said, some of the mess is not completely cleaned up yet. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with these three statues. Just not sure yet. But uh, yeah, that is some. Uh, that's some. That's a quickie look at some of my stuff in my game room. I have a CRT TV down here. I do not have it hooked up or anything as of yet. Um, but I do plan on getting all that set up and done very soon. Um, I plan on hanging this board and maybe when I do the filming that can display in the background. I was kind of thinking and stealing that off of square pegs. But I thought that was a pretty cool idea. Um, I also got a, I got my foosball table down here. I got some other statues and stuff, um, video game statues that I have. And yeah, it's just kind of wild and without like showing too much of a mess on the ping pong table there. That's all my board games. I have no idea what we're doing with all that board game stuff. So that that's just going to be like a mystery right now. That for that's for another date and time. But anyways, I just basically wanted to share this stuff and I appreciate you all watching. Until next time, this is David B69. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.